Hey YouTube friends, welcome back to another episode of Coastal GX. I'm Robert and today we're going to do a little something different. Uh, you may be wondering what are these guys doing with all those uh, fish that they're catching, the speckled trout and the, and the reds. So today I'm going to give you guys a little weak attempt uh, as to how I do it and uh, this is by no means the way to do it. You can choose any way, any style. This is not old, but I decided, you know what, I'm going to share a little bit about my recipe and the way I do things around here. So if you can see right here, uh, we're going to do it today, we're going to do it with a wet batter. A lot of people try to just do uh, uh, their fish with a dry uh, batter, but we're going to do it with a wet batter. We're also going to be doing a uh, red on the half shell, okay? So we're going to fire up the pit in a little bit and we're going to do a couple of uh, fish fillets on the half shell. Uh, this is, however, the prep for the battered fish. We're going to have, we have our fillets right here. We have some reds and we have some, um, some uh, uh, trout, you know, from our latest, uh, our latest uh, fishing adventure. You guys check out episodes 25 and episodes 26, you'll see Marcos, Chewy, and myself you know, my cousins, uh, we get out there and uh, we succeed in, in getting some fish and today we're gonna be preparing those fish. So let's start right here. Uh, as you can see, I'm gonna have, you can see a bunch of seasoning right here. Smoked paprika, garlic powder, uh, black pepper, onion powder, paprika, but this one over here is the regular one and we have the smoked one. Uh, we also have this, uh, uh, Tony's uh, Creole seasoning, Louisiana hot sauce, Old Bay, uh, all-purpose flour, and uh, you guys, I'm sure you probably use this all the time, the Louisiana Cajun uh, crispy fish fry. But this time, I'm going to add a little something uh, different. Uh, I'm going to add um, uh, Aunt Kathy's uh, Fiesta uh, fry mix just to add a little something there to it. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be taking these eggs, we're going to be preparing our wet batter first. So if you're wondering what that uh, mustard is for, that's exactly what it's for. It's going to be used here. So we go ahead and take care of this. All right. Get your eggs ready. And we're going to whisk these bad boys right here. Why do I say bad boys? I'm always saying bad boys. I'm always saying bad boys. Stop. Stop saying bad boys, man. They're not bad. They're good eggs. Son huevitos buenos. We're going to get this ready. And, by the way, the way I do things, I don't, I don't necessarily, um, I don't measure things, per se. I just go with the mas o menos, you know, whatever works for me. That's the way I do it. So, if you guys are very strict about, hey, I, I need to know about tablespoons and this and that. I'll go ahead and add that on the description. That's, that's not a big deal. So let's go ahead and get with it. Okay, guys, we're back. And uh, by now, what I went ahead and did is I mixed all my spices into this other bowl right here separately. And uh, we're going to be using this to put on, in the wet batter. And we're also going to use it to put it in the flour, as you can tell. I have one of these one gallon Ziploc bags. It's your traditional shake and bake type of thing. And uh, I already went ahead and I mixed some of the Louisiana Cajun uh, fish fry and the Aunt Kathy's in there. And of course, some of the white wing uh, all purpose flour. And uh, along with the uh, Old Bay and the other seasoning uh, that I mentioned a little while ago. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to put a few uh, spoonfuls of this. And by the way guys, man, it really it really loosens up your sinuses, this stuff right here. The pepper is so fine that it really does a number on you. You're going to want to sneeze and stuff. So put three or four uh, spoonfuls in there and I kind of mix it up there. Remember, some of the some of the fry uh, fish fry already has that seasoning. Some of the Fiesta fry mix, same thing. And uh, so we're just adding a little bit extra in there. Let's see how it turns out. So this is ready, ready to go. 
as you guys remember, we had uh, done our little uh, wet batter right here. This was the eggs. This was the mustard, all right, and the Louisiana hot sauce. You can use any hot sauce. It doesn't have to be Louisiana hot sauce. So you guys can experiment with your own stuff. But we're going to put all that in here, all right. I might have to make a little bit more of this in a little bit because I am working with so much uh, fish right here and uh, it may not be enough. So I'm going to have to kind of tantearle as I go on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of this uh, seasoning right here or at least half of it. I'm going to put that in there because like I said, I might have to make some more and uh, I'm going to should have gotten the whisker, but hey man, this fork works for everything, right? Let's shit to uh, clean at the end. I'm gonna do this. It's kind of turning into like a paste, as you guys can see. It's almost like a little paste right there. Hopefully this will go ahead and cling on to the fish fillets. So you can have that extra, extra flavor we're looking for. All right, so we'll put that there, and uh, here you go, nice and clean. What I'm gonna do is, however, is I am going to pat them dry before I do that. Bring that, should have these ready. Can you tell this is my first time doing this ever? Yeah, I bet you can. All right, so there we go. Go ahead and put it in there. Keep this little number right here. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it in here. Oops. Come on. Okay, as you can tell, just put it in there. Just in case you guys have never done this before. I assume that a lot of you that are watching this channel are already fishermen, fishing enthusiasts, pretty much just bring it out like that, shake it up like that, make sure it's all in there, and now it's ready for the frying pan, and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do this with the rest of them, and then we're going to take it to the skillet. Okay guys, here we are, we're starting to drop these in, one by one, very slowly. Now notice how I, when I drop them, I start from here and I set them that way instead of having it splatter on me. That's a good tip right there. At the end, they come out a little on the dark side. But don't worry about that. They're going to be nice and crunchy on the outside, flavorful, and that fish is going to be awesome. Okay, guys, so the fish are frying, and right now I'm going to get ready to take care of these uh, reds on a half shell. These are uh, finally thawed out, and I'm going to season them right now. I have the pit going, it's getting, uh, getting the fire ready. I'm going to season these up and then I'm going to go ahead and take them over there and see how they turn out. So far, so good. Okay guys, so I went ahead and I seasoned these fillets right here and uh, you can use anything pretty much but I decided to go with a Creole and some Old Bay on this one right here and uh, they've been at this room temperature now for a while. I'm going to turn them around and as you can tell they call it half shell because you still leave the scales on one of the sides here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to dry it up <clears throat> pat these dry, this, these sides right here and I'm going to put a little bit of uh, olive oil and the reason I'm doing that is so that this stuff doesn't stick to the grill you'll be able to see that um, just go ahead and rub this in 
Don't be scared to get dirty. Turn it around here. As you can tell, the seasoning is already there. I put a little bit of olive oil here, just drizzle a little bit. All right. Leave that like that. And then we're going to take these outside and see what happens. Okay, guys. So here we go. We have them ready. And as you saw inside, uh, we were able to uh, sprinkle a little bit of olive oil. What we're going to do now, uh, we brought it, brought it up to temperature. And uh, the temperature, just so you know, right now is at a nice even 350. We're at 350 right now. But I'm going to put these um, with the uh, flesh down, okay? It's going to be with the flesh down, maybe for a couple of minutes, and then just to sear it. Then I'm going to turn it, flip it back over, okay? Here we go. Right there. Right there. Okay. So it's time to flip these things. And we're going to put them over off to the side, away from the heat. away from that heat here we go I'm probably gonna leave them in there for another maybe another five minutes tops okay guys so what I'm doing right now is uh, I'm gonna add just put a little bit of butter and roasted garlic and some parsley and uh, some cilantro flakes in there just a little something to put on top of the of the fish so we still got a couple of minutes to go but we're gonna go ahead and pour these on them real quick kind of like that and cover them back up There we go. Now we're gonna go see how how they came out, how they taste. Woo! Okay, my bros. So here we go. I'm gonna give this a try, but you know what? I've been holding out throughout this whole video. This couldn't happen without one guy. His name is Marcos. I know he's a little camera shy, but I think he's he's willing to come over. Marcos, get over here, bro. Get your ass over here, bro. You got to do the test, man. Marco says that his favorite is to do this on the half shell. I've never done this before. Let's see how it looks, man. First of all, the aesthetics. How does it look? Looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good, man. So it's got the grill marks. It's, it looks pretty, but I don't know, man. I don't know. Take your take your pick. It doesn't have, uh, it only has a seasoning, it only has that, but I want to see how it turns out. Don't be scared. Dig in there. Very good. Yes? It tastes that smoky flavor. Hells yeah, man. That's what we were looking for. Once again, I've never done this. We always promise to bring you something new. Get up, get out, and do something. Today, this is what we did, bro. Good job, man. Thanks for everything. Once again, guys, stay tuned. We're gonna be bringing you a lot more content. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. You have a different way of doing things. Please share it with us. We wanna hear all about it. Leave something in the, in the, in the comments uh, section below. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.